next series is going to be guard passes. And there's, there's a lot of different ways you can pass the guard. There's three, there's three main avenues you can use to pass the guard, okay? You can um, go around the guard. You can go over the guard. Or you can come under the guard, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind when we, when we start talking about other passes. And right now we're going to start going over passes from your knees in their guard, okay? So one thing that a lot of us don't really think about is, is grips, grip fighting, and um, stripping other people's grips. And I know I'm super guilty of it. Like if he gets a good cross collar grip, a lot of times I hang out here and I just, you know, don't really think about it too much, which is which is wrong because you know you want to you want to do your your thing when you're rolling. You know you want to work and do your game basically. Okay, so we're gonna go over just a couple different grip breaks because if he gets his grip, he's on the way to doing what he wants to do instead of you doing what you want to do. Okay, you're gonna be reacting to what he does, which is not what you want. Okay, so we're gonna go over just a, a couple different grip breaks. And the first one is super, super simple. It's if he grabs the same side, the same side. Yeah. So this is the one of the most basic grip breaks ever. Okay, and it's quick. So same side hand, grab your lapel right underneath his hand. Other side hand grabs his, his fingers. Okay. And it's simple. You're just gonna turn your body, pull and push. That's it. That's all it is. I'm not pulling straight down and you know, just trying to yank like that. It's I use the leverage of my body this way and my leverage this way. I'm turning my body. I'm not just sitting here and pulling. That's not gonna work. Okay? So it's turn. Turn like that. And then you also want to think about your posture also when you're in the guard. If I'm too far forward, it's way too easy for him to break my posture down and, and get grips. It makes it easier for him to get the grips that he wants. And then I gotta fight to get my posture up and break his grips at the same time. It's just a lot of energy that you gotta spend, okay? So this one's super easy. Here, just grab right underneath, cup over everything, turn your body, and then also, you gotta keep in mind of him trying to grab the grip again. He's not just gonna lay there, so you gotta, you know, you gotta control, keep him away. I got away, and I wanna stay away until I can start working my, my guard breaks and stuff. Okay, so you know once you break a grip, boom, keep him away. You're not letting him grab your lapels. Your posture is good, you're watching for being pulled forward and all that kind of stuff, okay? So that's just kind of uh, some bullet points to keep in mind. But we're gonna go over kind of the main thing that we went over and as if the most common grip is a cross collar grip and you're broken down. He pulls and breaks you down, okay, this way. So this is kind of a bad spot for me. Uh, he has chokes, he can start setting up, you know, double attacks, triple attacks, and sweeps, and a lot of different things. Okay, so first things first is, he's got this, <coughs> this, this nice deep grip. What do I gotta watch out for? What's the first thing that comes to mind you gotta watch out for? The other hand. The choke, yeah, the other hand, because he can just come right over and like, I gotta tap, okay? So he can't choke me with this one hand, I'm pretty, you know, Pretty safe here, so I gotta watch out for this guy. Okay, so <coughs> the person is kind of you cup his bicep, you know, keep control of it, and also the good detail is keep your elbow in. Okay, if I'm out here like this, it's nothing for him to swim on around the outside and then get the choke. Okay, so even you know, I keep my elbow in. I can you can stay here or you can actually cup around like a like a praying mantis type hook, and it doesn't really matter where he goes. It'd be hard for him to go. Hard for him to get that. Okay? So, that's number one. Now I gotta start building my posture, but he's got this, so I can't, can't build my posture. So I gotta break this way. So, this hand, same side that his arm is on, you're gonna come across the inside, the front side of his elbow, here with, your, with the blade of your wrist. Right here. Okay? You're gonna grab the, his, his lapel. Okay? Don't come up like this and then slide down. It's just right across here. Grab the lapel and then elbows down tight. Okay? That kind of pins his arm. Okay? I'm 
still watching this. Then, when I'm ready, I'm going to grab his hand, kind of shake, loosen his grip, and pull his grip off it. Maybe if he still holds his grip, and we go back to the number one. Here. Okay? Just like that. Yeah, through here. Boom, boom, boom. Here. Bam. Then I control his wrist. Gotta keep that up. I don't want it to get that grip again. So, control it. I'm gonna feed that lapel back to it. Okay. Hit his arm. Okay. Notice how my elbow, I don't want my elbow to the outside here. I also don't want my elbow too far to the inside here. Remember those sweeps that we did? It's gonna be kind of hard, but he can still pull me off that way. Reach around, yep, and I'm off that way. Okay? So, once you pin this wrist, I will right into his, uh, Right into his leg here, posture's up. I'm not leaning forward anymore because he still has a free hand, right? He's so me down. So as soon as I get that grip broken, arm controlled, posture, and we're gonna we're gonna end right here, just with your elbow, your forearm kind of the inside of his leg, right here. Okay, that's just how we're gonna end right for right now, and then we'll go into the the guard breaking sequence. Okay, so from step one. He gets a cross collar and breaks me down. Okay, I gotta watch out for this arm. Okay, so just keep nice control of it. Okay, here. Forearm. Right across the inside of his, the front side of his elbow. Here, and find some fabric. Grab, and sink your elbow nice and tight down this way. Okay, and then from here, posture, grab, bounce. Okay, it's not gonna be one like this. It's, Tuck, tuck, tuck. Now just start rolling the posture. Break the grip. Force his hand down. You don't, you don't want to give him that back. Okay. Wrist right over the top of his. Feed that lapel right there. Okay. Now look kind of, here's a little more detail. Notice how I was here. I fed to here and I twist my wrist a little bit. My elbow right down here. You don't have to dig. Don't dig your elbow in. It's just tension. You want tension there. This is pretty nice. This is pretty good. nicely trapped. There. And then you're going to start working your opening, opening the guard. Okay. Any questions on that? Kind of seems like a lot of steps, but it's really not. You're just trying to get break that grip. It's a good way to break that grip and get your posture back. Okay. So one more time. Press me down and block. Here, making sure you can't get that chill. Okay? Arm stays low. Cross the front of his elbow. Grab something and sink your elbow down. Okay? Grab his hand. Here, pull and bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay? If you can break his grip off all the way this way, perfect. If not, you just slide, break, you gotta get control. Head down. Okay? And hand. Hand it off. Elbow right here, and you're ready to start breaking the, breaking the guard. Okay, give that a shot. Uh, okay, walk here, get my grips. Okay, get that posture, 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 break, control. Feet now, once I'm here, my base. It's still square with him, okay? So technically, uh, you know, if he were to like grab hold of me somehow with that and use his legs, I can still get, I can still get full floor somehow. Okay. So there's a couple things you can do to kind of combat that. First off, is not letting him grab you with that other hand. So this hand, I mean, since his hand's on that side, it doesn't mean I have to use this hand to block. If he's trying to grab me, I'm hand fighting. You know, I'm doing all this kind of stuff. Okay. I'm also you know, I see some, some people when they finish with this grip break and they get this here, their head is still too far forward. It makes it way easy for them to pull you forward and you just kind of lost everything. Okay, so once you get this, you need to have your good posture, okay? So I'm gonna be sitting, not back, but I need to be um, you know, straight up and down with, with, with good uh, attention to what he's doing. If he's pulling me forward with his legs, I can push my hips up. It takes nothing for me just to push my hips up a little bit. Okay, so, 
with that in mind, if my legs, if I'm still square to him, my base is still off. Okay, so once I get this broken, his grip broken and I'm controlled here, I'm gonna angle my knee, because I'm gonna be breaking his, his uh, legs open this way. I open my knee a little bit this way, and that makes my base wider. And it's now it's off at an angle. So if he pulls me forward this way, it's really hard for him to, to get me going that way. Okay? Now, once we start, we're gonna start breaking open his, uh, his guard. So, once I get that angle, I'm also gonna grab his pants here, okay? Now I'm not pushing down, like I see a lot of people, they push down on their hips, is I'm just creating a little bit of tension because this is what's holding me in the guard, is his feet, right? So I'm creating a little bit of tension on his hip, I'm not really pushing, I'm just kind of a little bit of tension, and then I'm also using my elbow to kind of force against his leg a little bit, his knee, here, okay? Once I'm here, my knee on this opposite side is not going to go in the middle, okay? Because look at my base. Too narrow, and I get thrown forward, okay? So it just goes right onto the butt cheek, okay? So that's one step. The next one, I step my leg out at a diagonal this way. I'm not, not up here, okay? Out this way, okay? Then from here, you can use your uh, your hand here, if you want, or you can use your elbow, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna kinda make your body a wedge against the back of, against his feet with tension here on his knee. You walk your foot back and it makes your body a wedge, okay? You're not, you're not turning like this. I think I spin my hips, it didn't, didn't do anything, okay? I'm here, tension on his knee, I'm making a wedge with my body, and then we're gonna we're gonna finish right here. We're gonna push. We're gonna finish right here, just for next week because we're gonna do a couple passes next week. Okay. So here he pulls you forward. Okay. Get your grip, posture, break, control. Here, here, angle. Okay, angle. Okay. One, two, like this, here. Also, you don't want to be leaning forward like this or sitting back like this. Nice and tall, so hips, hips up. Wedge here, then bring your knee on the inside, okay? And then we're just gonna pause right there because we got passes to do next week. Questions on that? Okay, yeah. So on the grip, when when you when you're down at first and you have your hand up and then you start posturing up, standing tall, is your grips so, so go ahead, ahead, start going for the pass. Right here, right here. So go ahead and start over? yeah, start there and then start working through it. Yeah. There, boom, now you're getting ready to pass his or break his guard. Yeah, right here. Yeah. So, uh, um, no, right I was, here. I'm talking about this this right here. You see right now you're you're in, yeah. And when you start, when you put the leg in and put down and up, it's not, it's not really there, right? Are you, are you gonna switch it? And push yeah, it down? you can, you can, you can. I mean, this is not, this is not gonna be there forever. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to hold them there forever. It's just enough to hold them off while you do what you want to do to buy you time to get there, right? Okay. Because if I lose this right off the bat and I'm trying to do this, he's got stuff to pull me down and break my posture and that kind of stuff. So the the idea behind this. It's just to, you know, once you're here, to give you enough time to do this. Now he's gonna be freaking out trying to, you know, do all this other stuff. But that's fine, because I'm already, you know, if he gets his hand free, I'm already got his guard open and I'm looking to get past. You can switch too. Um, once you're here, and you're, and you're going for this, boom, boom, you can, you know, you can switch, you can push here, you know, but you know, even if he gets his arm out, like say, Keep your arm so even if I'm, like, I'm here and he gets his arm out, that's fine. Then I just come here, you know, walk, boom, and then you know you, you even have you have a couple different options. But you're you're on your way through his guard. Okay, so you don't have to dedicate to that first group. You no, you don't want to over dedicate yet. to that at all. Okay. Don't don't get too fixed on that. That's just you know buying you time. Right. Basically.
I mean, it's not really, if you think about it, it's not really like a super, it's not a super hold or anything. If yeah. he wants out hard enough, bad enough, he'll get out. It's just enough. Okay, so he's, I know he's going to be trying to get out. So, okay, bam, that's enough. That's all I need. It's blind me time. Does it make sense? Okay, you have any questions on that? Really important though, is when you're here, you don't put your knee all the way in the middle. You're just blocking his butt. And kind of try to make that, well right now we're gonna do it in two steps, okay? It's one, two, and then you're tall, okay? Don't lean forward, because he pulls his knees forward. My, my posture's broken, okay? I'm tall, okay? And don't turn your whole body. You hear? Press, you, can push your, you can push your hand, you can use your forearm, but the thing is, is you're making your body a wedge against his feet. That's it. Don't bring your knee up. Okay.